Hi, I'm Pam Peterson. I'm going to talk to you about upcycling some textiles today. I'm going to work with cutting up some old sheets and turning them into yarn, and then also cutting up some t-shirts and how to turn that into a ball of yarn, and then show you um, a few of the projects that you can put together with them. So first, everybody has these, these old sheets lying around, and you know, textiles are a real problem right now in our society because we're just throwing everything out. 85% uh, of the clothing that we buy ends up in landfill. Um, maybe 15% is recycled. And so five, whole 5% five of our landfill is just clothing. Third world countries aren't taking any more, just filling up those holes. So let's make use of them. And you also save a whole bunch of money um, and have a fun individual project. So this is a like 20 year old sheet that a friend of mine gave me. So it's super lovely and soft. And I've made the little cuts about, about an inch, but you can make them thinner or a little bit wider depending on how big you want your yarn to be. So this one's about three quarters of an inch to an inch. So I'm watching TV, doing whatever. You just go. Very therapeutic, especially if you're uptight and stressed. Do this over and over and over again. So I'll usually pull out about five or six, like that. And then I'll put them aside. So you have all these like little hair, little, little threads on the side. So I'll give a little bit of attention to just pulling them off. Okay, so if, if I was gonna just weave with these, now when you weave, you don't want full giant legs of yarn. So that's like a different like, weaving talk, but just trust me, you don't want them. I would just put them on a ball and wrap them up and keep going. However, if I want to knit or crochet with it, like a traditional ball of yarn, then I want to join them. So here's a little trick for actually joining them. So you put them on top of each other, you fold it, in half, see how it's folded there? Take a little slice, take it apart, on top of each other long ways. Now one of them, doesn't matter whichever one is, the top goes on bottom, bottom goes on top, goes through that hole, voila, you have a join. And then you can go, do that as you go along, or you can sit around and just make a humongous ball of yarn. So that's the same joining technique that um, I do for t-shirt cutting, um, even though that's a little bit thinner. I'm gonna do that one more time, just because it's just, it's very important little technique. On top, fold, slice. each other and then it goes through the two holes and then you go join again and you can see just from three cuts that's pretty much yarn all right so now let's go on to the t-shirt t-shirt makes something a little bit longer This is gets cut into a spiral. So I'm gonna take off this selvage because it's heavy and it doesn't really match. Let me save that for another project. So sort of call that B grade yarn. This will be A grade yarn. So you see how I folded this so it's not even, right? Here's one fold and here's another fold. I'm going to cut up till I just cut through this fold, but I'm not gonna cut through that fold. Okay, so now I'm at the top. I'm gonna to do my last cut, which is right under the armpits of both the sleeves. So this is waste, unless you have a teenager who likes horrible shirts. Next, I take this piece 
I'm gonna put my arm through this fold here. There, so I have all these loops like this. The first one, it's at an angle. Now each cut goes to the next cut. But see, it's not straight across, because then it would be loops. It's at an angle so that I'm cutting the whole thing as a giant spiral. All right, so I'm almost at the end here. I don't want to, knitting with this straight is a little bit weird. I'm going to show you what it does, which is sort of magic. When you pull it, it rolls up like a tube, kind of like those old pothole loopers that we used to have. So you just go through, makes it longer, makes it tighter. It's folding up on itself. And there we go. I have a big pile of yarn here. I usually end up with about 50 feet per t-shirt or more. And teachers come in wonderful colors, especially the washed out colors. And you can go to thrift stores and usually buy them for like 99 cents a piece if you don't have enough old t-shirts in your family. In any event, you are upcycling it and giving it a new life is something splendid. So there we go. If you see just in a couple of minutes, I just made a ball of yarn out of that t-shirt. And now I will show you some of the projects that you can make with them. This is a rag rug. And you can see I've got white sheet here, and then I started to move in some of the pink sheet, which was actually what I was cutting up over there. Um, so this is a particular technique that I can't even get, get into right now, but it is a, it's a traditional rag rug, so it's what women would have done in the past to upcycle their textiles, which used to just be a way of life until we ended up with the disposable clothing thing. And even my warp is made from cut up t-shirts, I mean uh, cut up sheets. And this was made from just a collection of different red, yellow, and orange t-shirts that I cut up. It was a simple knit pattern um, swirling in, and it's now been my bathroom rug for five years or so, in the wash, out of the wash, durable, uh, bright, pretty, and upcycled. So I hope you do some of these projects and come up with some other ideas. Uh, there's countless things you can do but uh, upcycle those sheets and t-shirts and whatever else you've got around.